the day after the weekend before. So just a quick run round of the greenhouse. So this is the dedicated auto pot area. That's quinoa, just in case anyone didn't realize. Um, and a quick sort of overview. So they've got road, um, what are they? Oh, I forgot what these are called now. Uh, Hydrangeas. So tanks up there, how auto pot works, very, very simple. So a tank of water, you put the fertilizer in at the correct amounts and if you want to be clever then pH the water as well for the type of plants you're growing. Then each tray in, and each pot and, each, and all around the greenhouse has one of these little valves in it and what that valve does it allows 20 millimeters of water to flood the tray then stops and then what happens the plants drink all the water it doesn't self level like a ballcock system it goes all the way down to the underside of the aqua valve and when the surface tension breaks underneath it, then it will flood again. So it's the only system in the world that works via gravity and is controlled by the plants. So in basic terms, as long as you've got water and feed in your tank, the gravity will always find its lowest level. It works from one PSI to 10 PSI. And um, each one, each valve in each tray opens independ independently in accordance to the plants. So the whole greenhouse, and I'm going to take a quick flip through with you, is all on auto pot, all different tanks all over the place, all gravity fed, each aqua valve just opening and closing when the plants want it to, or the plants are controlling the valve. So it's been a, an exceptional show yet again, and an even more exceptional greenhouse. A lot of the fruit that um, was uh, here has been taken so you can't see the full extent of the produce on the plants. You can see aubergines there, tomatoes, they've all been taken off at the bottom by people yesterday. Oh, it's so hot in here, it's unbelievable. Um, but yeah, there are the 15 litre pots um, in the easy to grow trays and each aqua valve in each tray just can, like I said earlier, controls the flow of the water to the plants. Um, and, and it's the plant that's in, in basically controlling the action of the aqua valve. So tons of chilies. When you walk on this side, because of the foliage and the transpiration, it's a lot cooler down here. So I go underneath, you can see everything below. And I was told yesterday, over the last month, the whole greenhouse is consuming 80 tons of water a week which is incredible and remember not one drop has been lost so the water goes from the tank to the tray consumed by the plant and when it's empty then it'll flood again some more tomatoes lots of black beans there making a wall this is the uh, the flower garden, lovely. It's just gone over a little bit because of the heat, but I absolutely love it. It's a natural meadow. Yeah, you can see. And then in the distance, there's some flowers there in uh, the Auto 3s. There must be, I don't know how tall they are, probably 14, 15, 16 feet tall. And they've got some baby snack cucumbers there. Pretty much they've got everything. And then Absolutely stunning area is the dahlias, Rebecca, um, um, just tons and tons of flowers. Coleus, beautiful coleus. I mean, it's just breathtaking. And everything in here, this is the new auto, sorry, the XXL tray. So it can fit a 35 litre fabric pot with the collar, a 50 litre fabric pot, and Ben's found pots that it'll also fit um, 65 litre plastic pot or tree planters, 70 litre and 75 litre. So pretty much all the dahlias are in the, uh, the XXLs. But yeah, absolutely stunning. Chilies are a little bit behind this year, even though they're absolutely stunning. 
notice the fruit's not quite fully ripened as it has done previous years. There's more tomatoes here. These are more beefsteak tomatoes. They're in the easy to grow trays um, with 15 litre pots. I think they're in cocoa as well, a can of cocoa. And you can see, so there's the tank. And this is feeding this whole bay. And as long as you keep a good head of water in the tank, gravity pressure will just push it to this lowest level, which it always does anyway. Water always finds its lowest level. And then each aqua valve in each tray controls the flow of the water to the plants. And it's the plants that are actually controlling the aqua valve. There's the can of display, all made out of pallets. It's really lovely. And then more chilies. These chilies probably about seven foot tall. They're in the XL 25 litre pots. They're starting to set fruit now. You can see just here. I don't know what they are, but they look pretty uh, potent. And then you've got Auto 8s all along here. So you've got Pak Choi, which they're not going to do again next year because it just gets infested with aphids and things like that. You've got uh, Sweet Thai Basil. You've got Vietnamese Coriander, I believe. Um, this is Hori Basil, which is a lemon flavour. It's like uh, lemon drops, it smells like. More Sweet Thai Basil, Red Basil, uh, Coriander at the back. It's gone to, it's gone to flower. Uh, and some more um, okra and then the tomatoes beyond there but yeah absolutely stunning it looks well a lot of people pillaged a lot of stuff yesterday um, left a little bit of a, a mess behind but it'll all be fine so yeah that's uh, the end of the show thank you very much um, and just remember how hard the guys work to get this looking as stunning as they possibly can for the two days so i hope you all had a good show and um we'll see you next year take care cheers bye bye